Hello, everyone. Thanks so much for joining. My name is Marco Witzman. I'm one of the co-founders of Valley Space, and uh, happy to talk with you today um, about a topic that I think we all want to get better at, which is developing hardware faster, cheaper, and hopefully a bit more agile. So um, let me walk you through this. Um, you have these Slido parts next to you, so if you want to ask any questions, feel free to write them in the app, and in the end, we're going to do a short Q&A uh, where I'm going to try to answer your questions. Um, so let's just get started, right? So the question is, can digitization um, save you from the, uh, from the typical requirements, verification, and test nightmare, right? And, the, and how to basically do agile hardware development? And let's look at the overall engineering process, right? When you develop something, and you will see that the cost of making any change to your product changes, right? It goes up over time and goes up exponentially. And actually, the flexibility, therefore, of making those kind of changes goes down. So when we talk about Industry 4.0, a lot of times we talk about that right part of this graph. But the reality is the left part is that where you have the biggest ROI. When you do data-driven engineering, what you're actually able to is you're able to capture that value early on. Every mistake that you didn't make during the design, every, mis every um, part that is actually coherent in your design in the very beginning and not at the end, will save you so much money and time all the way after. So let's talk about a few things today, right? Why we have experience to share, the key concepts of modern software, de software development, and then the question, how can we learn from modern software development and transfer that to hardware development? And then um, probably talk a bit of, about a few use cases. So why do we have actually have experience to share? Why am I standing here today? Well, the, actually the most innovative companies, especially in the space industry, they use for agile hardware development value space, right? All of these kind of companies, they have started where everyone is on a document-based basis. They have like their servers with SharePoints, and they made a transition going the step forward and being more efficient. And I brought you a small video which is going to explain roughly what this is all about. If your company develops complex hardware, you know these projects are constantly facing budget overruns and schedule slips. The reason? Engineering data which describes the design of your product and evolves dynamically during the development process, doesn't have a digital home. This means all your engineers work from inconsistent requirements and values siloed across thousands of disconnected documents. This causes expensive rework, wastes engineering hours, increases risk, and creates project drag. Enter Valley Space, a digital productivity tool that helps your engineering team share up-to-date dynamic data quickly and easily. Designed by engineers for engineers, Valley Space is an intuitive browser-based software that integrates seamlessly into your existing tool landscape, enabling lean collaboration across departments. Thanks to automatic data exchange across tools and documentation, engineers have the right information at their fingertips when they need it, making it easier to get your projects right the first time. That means your teams waste less time chasing design statuses, digging through documents and cross-referencing data, and gain more time driving your innovation projects forward. The result? Increased productivity, fewer data inconsistencies, happier engineers, and more projects delivered on time and budget. Are you ready to take hardware development to the next level? Get in touch with our experts today. So now that we all know that you're ready for it, let's see how, how we can actually take those ideas from software development into hardware development, right? Could you send me the SharePoint link to version 4 of your parameter function? I'd like to compile my software today. Said no software engineer ever. You will not find a single person who develops software this way, but anyone who has touched hardware design will recognize that sentence because that's how we build hardware today. So let's look what software gets right. First, single source of truth. Think about it, like GitHub or other things, right? It's one data repository where all the engineers can collaborate. Second. That is not a document management system, by the way, right? It's all about data. It's not about the files are stored somewhere. It's about that the content, in that case, the code, is stored in a single place. Real-time collaboration, right? That means commenting, discussions, notifications happen in the same place where that data is. You've never seen a code review happen over email. You've never seen an Excel spreadsheet which sent to another developer telling them what's wrong with their code, right? Third one, continuous integration. 
When you talk about software development, continuous integration means that you do automized checks of design against requirements. In software development, we call that automated testing or whatever you want to call it, but it's part of the development chain. You constantly get feedback, right? People compile several times a day their software. People look and let the test suite run constantly to know whether they're still on track or not. So that means not waiting for milestone to find out that you do have a problem. Agile development. So actually having a real-time overview over your progress, right? Where are we? How many things have we implemented already? Is there a problem I should take care of? That's not waterfall planning. Waterfall planning, what we do so often is we think we know exactly what's going to happen, and then we're surprised that our project takes three times the time and double the budget than we thought. And then automatic documentation, right? Documentation is generated from the code in the good companies. You actually comment in the code, and in the end, what you get is documentation out. You don't have to write a dedicated part. It's automatically up to date, and it's definitely not called final three. Okay, so now we have five key concepts, five key concepts of how software gets it right. But hardware is not software. So how do we take those concepts, these ideas, and transfer them into hardware development? Let's see how we do that. First one, single source of truth, right? A single data repository to collaborate. Well, put your engineering data in a single place. That is not spreadsheets on a SharePoint. That means data. Because if you have spreadsheets on a SharePoint, two spreadsheets say different things. That's not a single source of truth. Have inputs of multiple disciplines combined automatically. If people collaborate on that data, they should be able to work on the same data and make it browser-based access from all of your devices. Don't think that you have to install something and then you're in the clean room and you have a different machine which runs Linux and you cannot install that software, right? So obviously make sure that with modern tools you actually have that kind of access dynamically. Second, real-time collaboration. How can we make sure that actually that happens in the same place? Well, make sure that you have granular access rights for customers and suppliers. You do want to collaborate. Space is the typical collaboration place. We all work together in this industry one way or another. You're the supplier one day, you're the prime the other day, you work together. But you don't want to share all of your trade secrets. So what do we do today? We just send things back and forth, what we think is fine. That takes a lot of time. Just give granular access rights and say, well, customer, here's my mass budget. This is one you can always look at. I'm not going to send you any progress reports because you can, you can look it up at any point. Full traceability of decisions that you take on the way, you have to store them in the place where they happen. Right? Nobody wants to wake up and wonder why did we take that choice three years ago and go again through that same process trying to answer the same question. And API is to connect multiple engineering tools. Don't have engineers highly paid copy paste things from place A to place B as your integration layer. Tools should be talking to each other. Engineers should focus on engineering work, not on copy-pasting. What does continuous con integration look like, right? Well, actually, you can have requirements with which, which are, with rule sets, being automatically verified at all stages. That means whenever someone runs a simulation and you t it turns out that the orbital velocity got 5% shorter, that should ring a bell in some requirement document telling you, careful, now you're outside of spec. You shouldn't have to wait for the expert to look at it. And that's what basically automatic and continuous verification looks like. Simulations should also be triggered automatically. If you change one part, the other recalculations should not be dependent on that you decide there's another simulation loop going on. They should be triggered. You should know what depends on what. And verification is therefore already partially completed before you've touched the first thing. You don't have to have a, an engineer go through a lot of documentation, check numbers, if you have that view all the time. Now you can focus on actually doing tests, doing the things that you cannot verify by review or simulation. Agile development. Well, first of all, have a place where you can actually look up the status. Who, as a project manager, wouldn't like to pull up a dashboard and actually see how many requirements of the 250 that we have have we verified as of today? How many tests do I still have to run? What's the mass been like over the last few months of my spacecraft? Has it been going up or going down? 
make sure that when you do planning, when you actually collaborate, you just don't put up Microsoft Project, make a perfect plan, and then expect everything to happen, and then you call up people, did you do that? Oh no, it's late, oh no, it's late. Make bottom-up planning, ask people, what do you need for your task? Great, these are your inputs. What are you producing? Great, these are your outputs. And then put the planning together from these things. Now in real time, when someone says, I'm done with this task, the other person will get a notification and the time shifts automatically. If one task lasts longer, you will immediately see what that does to your critical path. But you don't need to be the person updating that. It should be a software doing that. That allows you to find problems really, really early on in the process, right? And the last one is automatic documentation, right? Make sure that the data is your source. Documents are just the output. You can automize technical change management, therefore, right? Things that change automatically get reflected in your user manual, in your ICD, and whatever it is. And have traceability for every data entry. You do want to know where did that data come from? Why are we having this change? You want to look at a mass increase on spacecraft level and immediately know that it is because a supplier agreed on a different kind of mass on one of the equipments that you have. So basically, the answer to the question of how do we do hardware development in a more agile way is digital continuity. It means basically having a digital thread that goes from requirements engineering through concurrent design, detailed design, simulations, reviews, all the way up to test and documentation. And that needs to come from at least a tool chain that is integrated, if it's not a single tool. So basically, requirements, design, verification, and test, when they're interconnected, agile hardware development becomes a reality. And now the question just is, where are you on this process? How many of your parts have you integrated? How many of these things are real for you? Here's the secret of how to do it. Now it's just about implementation. Thank you very much.